Hello everyone and welcome back to J1 Aviation where we talk about a couple potential questions on the private pilot written exam every day. So today we're talking about hyperventilation. So let's begin. Okay, question number one. When a stressful situation is encountered in flight, an abnormal increase in the volume of air breathed in and out can cause a condition known as A. Hyperventilation B. Aerosinusitis or C. Aerotitis. Okay, so the answer is A, hyperventilation. Of course it would be, that's what we're talking about today. So hyperventilation is the excess rate and depth of breathing which leads to an abnormal loss of carbon dioxide from the blood. So it can cause symptoms which could alarm a pilot. When this happens, an increased breathing rate and anxiety can further aggravate the problem of hyperventilation. Okay, so question number two. A pilot should be able to overcome the symptoms or avoid future occurrences of hyperventilation by A. Closely monitoring the flight instruments to control the airplane. B. Slowing the breathing rate, breathing into a bag or talking aloud. Or C. Increasing the breathing rate in order to increase lung ventilation. Okay, so the answer is B. Slowing the breathing rate breathing into a bag or talking aloud. So the treatment of hyperventilation involves restoring proper carbon dioxide levels to the body. So breathing normally is the best prevention and best cure for hyperventilation. Breathing into a paper bag or talking aloud can help overcome hyperventilation. Okay, question three, the last question for today. Which would most likely result in hyperventilation? A. Emotional tension, anxiety, or fear. B. The excess consumption of alcohol. Or C. An extremely slow rate of breathing and insufficient oxygen. Okay, so the answer is A. Emotional tension, anxiety, or fear. So when pilots encounter an unexpected stressful situation, they may subconsciously increase their breathing rate. Also, if flying at a higher altitude, a pilot may have a tendency to breathe more rapidly than normal. So these are two things which can result in hyperventilation. So thanks everyone for riding along with us today. We'll hope you join us on a future flight and thanks for flying J1 Aviation.